What's up guys? Today we have to talk about James Charles because he once again is being called out for sending messages to people under the age of 18, if you know what I mean. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Exposed. 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 So here we are once again for what, the third time this year speaking about the same subject about the same person. This was a conversation two years ago before by sister, more on that later, and it's still a conversation two years later because the same behavior is still happening. Deaf Noodles on Twitter posted a screenshot of a TikTok from this guy who definitely isn't 18 claiming they were speaking to James. This boy posted all the screenshots of their messages and it's literally like a copy and paste of last time. So he posted a few screenshots from James just to show that these are real and James was talking to him very flirty. In one of the messages, James says, "Oh, okay, good night, cutie, with a sad little pouty face. And the other one says, that would be so cute with another weird face. Then on November 29th, 2020, James messaged the guy, LOL, happy birthday. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're saying happy birthday to someone, you know their age, right? Well, fast forward to nearly a month later on December 11th, 2020, James messages the boy and says, what the f is your problem? Posting screenshots of my snaps on your private story? I strongly recommend that you keep my name out of your mouth or we're gonna have a major problem. So I'm guessing this guy, who is clearly a James Charles fan, got all excited that he was talking to his idol and posted proof for his friends on his private story. Now, I could see if you were in an appropriate relationship and this guy you were talking to posted all your personal conversations online, that would be weird. That's weird. But this is a teenager with a teenager mind. James then goes on to say, I'd love to remind you that you're the one that called me cute and said that you're and into me. Once again, this is just repeat behavior of James Charles, the adult, the 22 year old blaming high schoolers. The boy then goes on to say, hold up. And then James says, get a life and respect people's privacy. And the boy says, we already talked about this. And James says, that's a complete lie, you idiot. You're backpedaling because you got caught. And then the boy responds, no bad intentions whatsoever. And James says, don't ever speak about me again. I added you in my, my own business until you called me cute and started flirting with me saying you were bi. People who can't respect privacy are the lowest of low. And then the boy says to James, I completely understand that. And James says, you clearly do not understand. And then the boy responds, I never intended anything bad by posting that. And if anyone says you did do something wrong, I can assure you that you did not. And James says, I know I didn't. You did by violating my privacy. Get your f***ing friend in line before I do. Lying about your age to bait someone is against the law, by the way. What's also against the law is not asking for ID. In fact, actually, if you even have to ask for ID because it's that questionable, you need to rethink where your mind is because I'm concerned. So the boy goes on to say to James, I didn't delete anything in which messages. And James says, the messages of you admitting you lied about your age. I saved them and they're gone. And the boy says, I don't know, but I can promise you I didn't delete anything. So why is this still happening? I know this was back in December, but it's not even that long ago. And sure, you can make the argument all you want that this person lied about their age and was probably doing it for attention from James. But here's the thing, James could avoid all of this by not messaging fans. It's literally as simple as that. I see so many sisters with little James Charles icons on Twitter trying to say that these fans are in the wrong because they lied about their age. Yet the true tea is, James is the adult in this situation. As the adult, James holds a responsibility to protect those who aren't adults. As the influencer, James holds a responsibility not to his power and to protect his fans. You can't blame someone with an underdeveloped mind for reaching out to their favorite person, their role model, and trying to get attention from them. At this point, it's just a pattern, and just like James said, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. But what happens when it's a third, a fourth, a fifth time, and all the times we probably don't even know about? Is it shame on you, or is it jail? 
Anyways, the guy that James was talking to actually had to delete his video where he called James out because apparently the police contacted his parents and it seems like it's being handled offline. James has been pretty silent about everything, but while the situation was literally trending on Twitter, James was liking pictures of his BFF, Kylie Jenner. Literally not bothered at all. And that's once again been a pattern with James. For the past few weeks, despite being called out time and time again, he's been living his best life doing collab videos with people like Gabriel Zamora and Manny MUA, promoting his palette, and just not having a care in the world. Speaking of his palette, Morphe actually posted his palette on Instagram literally today telling people to go buy it. They wrote, restock the iconic Morphe X James artistry palette is back in stock on morphe.com. The post was quickly deleted within like two hours because they were getting dragged in the comments. It's just crazy to me how brands treat certain influencers different than others. Morphe dropped Laura Lee, Jeffree Star, and Shane Dawson so fast, yet here's James getting away with everything. Yet we have people like Call Me Carson who got called out for the exact same stuff and he's completely off the internet. So why is James Charles treated so differently? And more importantly, why are brands and influencers afraid to say anything? I actually have a pretty good idea why. Think back to two years ago when Tati dropped her Bye Sister video. James went from being the most loved influencer to losing 3 million subscribers overnight. Tati brought up a lot of amazing points in her video. The problem was the video wasn't done in the right way. You can't talk about something so petty and trivial such as a friend not promoting your vitamins and lump it in with allegations. I'm sure Tati had her reasonings, but the public is going to see that as, oh, here's this person who's much older than James getting mad at something so petty, so she's trying to bring down his career. And that's exactly what happened and exactly what James used to pull the Uno reverse card in No More Lies. The entire internet flipped overnight and the narrative went from, if you don't talk about James, you're protecting him, to if you talked about James Charles, apologize right now, you're horrible, poor 19 year old James. That's why influencers and brands are so terrified to speak up right now because the internet switches so quickly. Angelica Oles is another drama channel that was pretty much pushed off Twitter only a few months ago by people telling her that she needed to apologize to James for her video on Bye Sister. She tweeted, for anyone saying I've been letting James off easy in my videos, was I not being called out by commentary YouTubers and people on Twitter for my videos during Bye Sister? Was I not being called out for that like a month ago? Can't blame me for being careful. That's another thing, Tati was called and literally pushed off the platform for two years now because of how James tried to turn things around. The part that really gets me is the fact that while everyone was dealing with the backlash for calling James out, while Tati was dealing with the aftermath, James continued the same behavior that almost cost him his career. Let me repeat that. While everyone was getting dragged for calling James out for said behavior, said behavior was being continued for two years. While we're on the topic of Tati, I know she posted a video last year apologizing to James and saying that she was on speaking terms with him and a lot of people feel like well if Tati saw what she saw there's no way she would ever go back on her word so she must have lied. I think it's actually quite the opposite. When you have the entire internet telling you that you're wrong, dragging you for trying to ruin a 19 year old, making excuses for the behavior that Tati talked about, telling you that your career is over, you start to question your own memory I would think. The best way I can try and describe it, and I know this is going to be an extreme example, but hear me out. You know those true crime shows where they have an interrogation where the person being interrogated is innocent, but the detectives think he's guilty and they question this person for hours on end and instill in their mind that they're a bad person and that they did something wrong, they start to believe it. If I had to guess, I think that's similar to what happened with Tati. She had the whole internet telling her that she was wrong. She had the whole internet telling her how bad she was for Bi's sister. I think she started to believe it. So that's just my takeaway on the situation. I'm sorry guys, I know I went off on a little bit of a rant because this is just all so crazy to me. Anyways, people are now digging up old clips and it's not looking good. I talk to guys that live in different states and stuff and I'm like, hey, like, why don't you come visit? And like, well, I can't afford a plane ticket. Yep. And it's like, okay, well, I can. So yep. like, get nice. on the plane. And like, well, I just don't really feel comfortable with that. But like, I love you and I really want to be together. And I'm like, well, we can't be together because you can't afford a plane ticket. You're probably still in either high school or college, like a senior in high school 
high school or in college. Right. So like, either you accept the flight and realize that like this is what I'm bringing to the relationship so we can spend time together if you actually care about me. Yeah. Or we literally never meet because you can't afford it. That's right. Even Insider posted an article about weird influencer to fan relationships, saying relationships between influencers and their fans are inherently problematic, experts say. It goes on to say several influencers have faced criticism for past online and offline relationships with fans. James Charles was recently accused of sending mm, photos to a romantic relationships between celebrities and their fans always have a stark power dynamic yes a power dynamic that's what james charles needs to realize that clip i played for you guys a few seconds ago where james slipped up and said high school guys and then corrected himself to high school seniors is so weird to me how is a 21 year old turning 22 even interested in people still stuck in school from nine to three you're a celebrity with millions of dollars a house multi-million dollar brand deals you're friends with people like kylie jenner you have a massive audience how can you in any way relate to someone in high school Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.